my loves, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shai Smith and I wanted to talk to you guys about VSG and keto. Now, yes, I did do keto throughout my uh, VSG journey, but um, in the beginning, it wasn't so much keto because of the protein shakes and how much carbohydrates they have in it. So I really started my keto like when I got to eating regular foods, the general diet type foods. Um, um, I tried to do a little keto during the soft stage and when I talk about the meals that I ate through that, which was really good, but I really didn't do it the soft stage. I did stay away from a lot of carbs though with my meals. However, with the protein shakes, uh, I was drinking, um, for like snack or something like that, just trying to get the protein in. It was, you know, kind of hard. The key, the carbohydrates was a little bit more than what I wanted to consume. Um, but when I was on keto, um, during my VSG journey, I kept it under 20 net carbs. Sometimes I went a little bit over, probably 23 or 25, but that didn't make a huge difference. But I really tried to keep my carb intake under 20 net carbs. So um, I'm just going to tell you what I ate uh, during the soft food stage of my diet um, and how I kept some of those carbs out of what I was eating. So I um, start off making myself chicken salad and tuna salad. So here are the ingredients of the chicken salad. Um, the tuna salad is the same. However, um, I'm using tuna instead of chicken. But I did use a sugar-free relish uh, for my chicken and tuna salads. Um, I kept my chicken and tuna salads in those little four ounce cups that I talked about in my video uh, of essentials needed for VSG. Um, you can check that video out. But other than that, um, I also ate uh, the chili, no beans, beans with no chili. My doctor gave me um, a recipe for beans and no chili and I made that during the soft food stage. Um, the soft food stage uh, for me was two weeks. Um, and then after that, I moved on to general food, but the soft food stage was for two weeks and the chili that I ate was delicious. It's good with no beans. And I, um, ate that and, and I'll put the recipe down in the uh, description box below for the chili, um, recipe and also for the chicken salad and tuna salad recipe, if you like to have those. Um, during the soft food stage, during that time, um, I snacking, I snacked on sugar-free Jello. And like I said, my favorite, and like I said in the other video, my favorite was the uh, cherry starburst and the strawberry uh, sugar-free Jello. These were my two favorite, and I and I kept them in the fridge, and I kept them in the little four-ounce cups as well. Um, these little these little brown cups i kept them in there and I, I also put my chicken salad in here when i was in the soft food stage and i can barely eat the whole thing i think i left a little bit down here but it, when you're in the soft food stage after your vsg it's kind of hard to eat the whole four ounces in the cup and also during the soft uh food stage i got me uh some keto yogurt which i continue to eat to this day now these are bomb I love the coconut, strawberry, and vanilla flavor. Um, I would eat these uh, as a snack, and but during the soft food stage, I had to like separate them um, so I could only eat like half of this, even if a half, um, as a snack, you know, to get me over through the day. Well, so that's it for the soft food stage. I mean, it wasn't a long stage, but I got through it with some of the things that I found that tasted so so good and so like i said as a snack i have the keto keto ratio these are good pick them up i've been eating this throughout my whole entire journey i still eat it now um for my snack as you see i, I, got, I still eat that now jello i you know after the soft food stage i was like done with jello but uh I could still eat it if I make me some, but that's why I still have these two boxes because I haven't made it um, since my soft food stage. Yeah. So moving on to the general diet. Now, general diet is very general with keto. And I want to talk about some of the things that I've made um, uh, throughout my journey with BSG that were keto. 
Now, the recipes will be, excuse me, I'm trying to get it out. The recipes will be in the description box below for all the, the meals that I'm telling you about, you know, and they were so good to me. Um, most of the food, most of the recipes I got were from Pinterest and some was just off the top of my head because, you know, I like to cook and I like to put things together. But first I want to start off with talking about uh, keto crack chicken. You can make it in a crock pot. You can make it um, over, over the stove, which I did. I didn't make it in the crock pot. Like the direction said, I cooked it over the stove. Um, it's just uh, shredded chicken, cheddar cheese, mild cheddar cheese. Um, what else is in it? Um, chicken broth. Uh, what else did I put in there? I have to, the recipe will be down below. Recipe will be down below. And, I, and, and, and But when they say keto crack chicken, it is keto crack. Oh, it has bacon in it. So when keto crack chicken is actually crack. Uh, I love making it. I make it now uh, still. Uh, if I want to keep my carbs low on a low carb day, I'll make the keto, uh, the keto crack chicken. It is truly delicious. I'll show you a picture of how it looks from the recipe I got. Um, but it was awesome. Gotta try it. Um, the next thing I also ate was um, Cajun uh, sausage, smoked Cajun smoked sausage and zucchini. Chef's kiss. When I tell you you want to, you have a taste for gumbo. Um, go get this. So it has um, zucchini. It's seasoned Cajun with Cajun and seasoning. It has zucchini in it. It has red, green, and jalapeno peppers in it. It has shrimp in it. Um, did I say smoked sausage? It has smoked sausages in it. And I use low, I, I use low sodium chicken broth or no salt chicken broth in it. And I season it to my taste. Again, that recipe will be in the description box below. And you just tell me how you like it because it, it is delicious. When I, I had a taste for gumbo, I went and made that. And I made that several times. You never got tired of it. Never got tired of it. But I'll also put that in the description box below so you can taste that too. But um, this is a picture of how I, I, I did it. And like I said, it's yummy to the tummy. Another thing I made was uh, I, salmon, shrimp, and broccoli over, you know, with Alfredo sauce on top. That is truly delicious and very filling. I mean, I only had a few bites of chicken and a few bites of shrimp and I was full. That lasted me for like four or five days at the most, especially how I cook. I cook like I'm cooking for a whole family, which I normally typically do and how I do my meals. And my family didn't eat the same things I did. Sometimes my daughter ate the same foods I did. She, she doesn't mind those meals, but my fiance, like I said, he's unhealthy and he only likes, he's like a, a creature of habit. He likes the same thing over and over and over again. I'm sorry, guys, the sun is out. I closed the blinds, but it doesn't look like it. The sun is out, just beaming down on me, but forgive me with that. Um, but this meal is so delicious. You take a salmon, cut it up in cubes, and then you saute the salmon, you saute the shrimp, and then you make your Alfredo sauce on the side. And I give you guys the recipe of my very own Alfredo sauce um, that I've been making forever that my mom taught me how to make. So it's, and it's delicious. And I've always made this Alfredo sauce with every meal that Alfredo, some seafood Alfredo, yeah, yeah I make that. But um, I would make this meal over and over again and it was just so delightful and so delicious. So. Um, Give that a try and let me know what you think in the comments. The next thing I had was um, keto egg roll in a bowl. Now, my family ate this. And I when I make this, I just make it for the family because they eat this. But, you know, my fiance, he wants fried chicken with it. So I have to fry him chicken along with my egg roll uh, meal. And um, 
Here are the ingredients up here of the egg roll in a bowl meal. And I will also place the recipe in the description box below. It's going to be a lot of typing going on because I'm just going to be giving y'all all types of recipes, you know. But um, the egg roll in a bowl is so delicious. Oh, my God. Um, whoever came up with this, it's basically a deconstructed egg roll. Um to me, I've tried it with chicken, ground chicken, and I've tried it with ground turkey, but it tastes best with the ground chicken. So get you some ground chicken and mix it up. If you don't have ground chicken, use ground turkey. Either or, it's delicious. You got to try it. The next thing I made was... the Oh, the next thing I made was chicken soup. Chicken soup without the uh, noodles, of course. Um... But that was also delicious as well. Um, I made a lot of one pan meals uh, doing keto, and, and you know, and, and like uh, like I said, all of it was delicious. And it makes you want to just like, oh, I'm so excited to eat dinner, and you don't feel like you're you don't feel like you're restricting yourself from anything, you know. So I also ate that, and I again, I will leave the recipe in the description box below. And, you know, you have simple keto meals like chicken breast and chicken breast and um, string beans or uh, salmon and, 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 and broccoli. You know, I ate those kind of things. Um, also, if you don't have anything to eat, um, per se, as, uh, as far as keto, go to the restaurant and just get you a chicken salad with just um just the lettuce and the chicken and cheese that's even great and you can it's options at chipotle you can get you the chicken salad bowl and you can put in there um i usually do the chicken the salad and i do uh the cheese on and the sour cream and that's that that was my chipotle bowl so there are a lot of options out there you just have to give it a try as far as snacks are concerned, um, mm, I have my go-tos with snacks. I, I really enjoy the, the turkey uh, jerky that they have at Aldi. Those are great. Eat, those are a great snack. So I would eat that and then I'll eat a string mozzarella cheese. I got that from Aldi's and I will eat on that as a snack. And that will, that would normally be, um, my snack uh, after, no, that would normally be my snack um, that I will have at night. And then while I'm at work, a snack that I also enjoy was this. This was like my go-to sweet tooth, keto ratio. Um, just wanted a little something to eat and be satisfied, keto ratio. You guys gotta try this. Like I said, the best kind is the coconut, vanilla, and strawberry. So. So get down on this. And they sell the granola. So when you get back into the, the, the general uh, diet foods, mix this with some granola. And they already have some with the granola already portioned out for you at the top. Those are, them, them, them are really good. But they do sell the keto ratio granola, which is right there. That's a picture of it. Pretty pricey, but the, them two together is absolutely, absolutely good. Um, so as far as desserts, so I started getting very, you know, experimental with keto. I had went to Home Goods one day and he had like some keto chocolate chip cookies in the, in, in the, in the aisle, you know, when you stand in line and I was like, well, let me grab these taste it. They were so delicious. Like, I was like, I got to try to make these on my own. So I did. <laughs> so, um, I can't remember the brand, um, if I find it, I will look, link it in the description box for you um, to show you what brand of the cookies were, but they were delicious. And like I said, I got them from Home Goods and child, please. I, and I had to limit myself. I had to take like, I only ate two and that was it because you want to eat the whole box. It's not a lot in there, but you want to eat the whole thing, you know? So anyway, I start experimenting with making my own desserts. So I, I started making, um, keto cookies and started making keto brownies, the recipes will be down in the description box below. And I got those recipes from off of Pinterest. Like, come on, y'all. So 
um, the chips that I use uh, for the cookies are these Lily baking chips. I'm currently eating these now. I'm making myself now because I'm eating breakfast uh, because with keto, I do intermittent fasting. I'll talk to you more about that. But these right here, good. And they're also, it's less sugar, uh, sweet life. Well, no sugar added, first of all. And um, it's, it's sweet with stevia. So Lily's chocolate chips, go get you some of these because these right here are really good in the keto cookies and they're good in over in the chocolate overnight oats too. And but I'll talk about the chocolate overnight oats because that's not keto. <laughs> but I do use these ingredients in my chocolate in my chocolate overnight oats and I use this yogurt in it too. And it's so delicious which means it's still a little bit low carb. Also um, you're going to need sugar and you're going to need flour. I use almond flour, you know, for the cookies and the brownies. And I also use Swerve. Swerve has a, a, a good, a good, you know, good options for, you know, sweeteners. Um, they have the brown sugar, confection sugar, of course, regular granulated sugar. Um, you can use those, you can use Splenda, but brown sugar, their, their brown sugar is, is really good. Swerve, their brown sugar is really good. And um, uh, as I said, for those uh, ingredients for the brownies and the keto brownies and the, uh, keto chocolate chip cookies will be in the description box below. As far as drinks are concerned, Mainly I drink water, but every once in a while you want that little taste of something. So I got uh, zero sugar sweet tea. Y'all, this is so good. Like one time we didn't have anything in the house sweet to drink and it was just my stuff left. Do you know my family sat up there and drank all my stuff and said, oh, it doesn't even taste like it's no sugar in it because it's not. It has zero calories, zero added sugar. Only thing it has in here is sodium, which is only um, 20 milligrams. Yeah, yeah. But it is so, so, so good. Y'all gotta get you some of these, right there. And also the Minute Maid, sugar-free Minute Maid is, is, is delicious. The, sugar, the sugar-free fruit punch, it tastes just like the regular one. You know, and those are my treats, especially if I get a sweet tooth and I can't eat no more yogurt because I'm watching my calories. I'm on my calorie and carb. And I will go to the tea and I will go to drink my Minute Maid, which I got to go get me some because I ran out. So that's it. I did drink coffee and I still do drink coffee. I do not drink caffeinated coffee. Reason for me having this VSC surgery was because my extreme high blood pressure. So I try to stay away from as much caffeine as possible. But when I do um, do caffeinated and I have to have me a Coke, I do Coke Zero, you know, and it doesn't have any effect like my heart ain't palpitating. And then when I choose to work out, I just use caffeine free pre-workout. You see where I'm going here? I just... I decided as a lifestyle change, along with the lifestyle change of VSG, to just stay away from caffeine, period. Because it's for me working all these late, late night hours, um, shifts and stuff when I was a single mom. And I would have my um, five-hour uh, bread bowl and it just... And I had to have my coffee. I wasn't a heavy coffee drinker. I can, I can live with one glass per day. One cup a day, but, and, and I'm still not a heavy coffee drinker. I can still only take one cup, and but it's decaffeinated. I use the uh, the Dunkin' Donuts decaf. That's what I drink. Um, but yeah, those are the drinks I use. And also, I would use the um, Crystal Light Raspberry Lemonade. Haha, <laughs> I love these. My daughter loves them too. So again, I'm out. But here's a picture of it if you want to see how it looks because those are good too um, to have, especially on the go. Now, coffee, how I make my coffee. I usually get the sugar-free pumpkin spice. It's like my favorite. I try different sugar-free options. The sugar-free cinnamon roll, all from um, coffee. I believe it's Coffee Mate. Yeah, 
all these sugar-free options I will use with my coffee. Right now, I'm trying the zero creamer, zero, zero sugar added uh, caramel macchiato. I, I'm using this, I'm using this um, for my coffee. And I also like to put Splenda in my coffee and two packets are good enough for me just for this, the, the added sweetness. Now, I drink my coffee in the morning and I also add collagen to my coffee, the vital proteins. Um, I add that to my coffee. So all of this in my coffee is good. And if I really want to treat myself, I get sugar-free whipped cream and put it on top. But yeah, but those are the things that I ate that was keto. Those meal ideas, like I said, you can look in the description box below. I have uh, tried many different recipes, but the ones that I'm telling you about were the absolute best and you should try it. Um, again, let me know if you try any of these and please comment below. And like I said, the recipes and everything will be in the description box below. Thank you for listening to me. I don't want to go and talk much, much more longer, but uh, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And bye, my loves. I'll see you later.